Why? Why are you doing that? Am I too close to the bush? Sorry. There you go. Happy now? <laughs> oh my God, look at the width of this image. I bet you can see my garbage bin in there. <laughs> Guys, let me sort this image and I'll be back to you. Have you ever wondered what TPN stands for? That's T-P-N. You probably haven't. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> well, if you have, if you have wondered, TPN stands for the Pallet Network. Yeah. And TPN are quite big in UK. I don't know about uh, anywhere else, but in UK they're quite big. I mean, if they're not the biggest, <laughs> I don't know, but I think they are the biggest. How do I know that? Because <laughs> I basically see them everywhere. Everywhere I go, I see a big truck, or a small truck, or a van, or some kind of transportation. I, I'm surprised they don't have horse and carriage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they are everywhere, and they're big. They are absolutely huge, right? What do they do, and how do, I, how, how do they operate? I don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> you would uh, probably expect an expert um, answer to your questions. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have no idea. But I'm about to find out today. Yeah, I am about to find out today. Because I've been sent to our TPN depot. So we're going to do some TPN work today. Yeah. Fantastic! Why not? <laughs> so, stick around and let's find out exactly what it is. Well, I have an idea. I have an idea. But I don't want to say too much because, mate, it's a 40 mile an hour limit. What are you doing? Eh? Anyway, I don't want to say too much. Because I don't want to be, uh, you know, bombarded with, uh, wow, you don't know, you have no idea, in the comments. So I don't know. I'm telling you now, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't. I don't even know if I introduced myself today. By the way, my name is Florin. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for coming back to my channel. So let's do it. Yeah, let, let's do this. Let's do this TPN work today. All right. <laughs> See you in a bit when we get there. Well, here we are. We are here. <laughs> And you can see some trailers already being loaded or unloaded. There should be one loaded for me. Okay, we have a trailer. Uh, it's just around the corner, parked up. Double O seven. Yeah. Double O seven. Ah. Let me 
James Bond would be proud of me. <laughs> Lower the suspension. It's a double decker, just like the one you see in front there. Yeah. Um, well, I have to admit, I have lied a little bit because I kind of know what they're doing and how this thing operates. I've done a little bit of research and um, it's also not hard to figure out. <laughs> yeah. How these things work. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Right, let me connect this trailer and I shall see you in a couple of seconds, all right? When we talk about more things. <laughs> yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so we are out. Hey, uh, we are going to TPN Minworth, uh, and it's taking two hours to get there. I'll be there for 8:45 approximately. However, the booking is for 9:30, so I'm, I'm going to be there almost. An hour earlier. At the yeah. roundabout, take the second exit. Uh, I don't think they will say anything. But I looked on uh, Google Maps and they've got like a big uh, truck truck park there. At Probably the roundabout, like a waiting, exit, waiting area. So I'm guessing that's where I'm going to go. So, um, yeah, even if I'm early, I'll probably have to, I'll probably have to take my straps off, or not my straps, like the curtain, yeah. And um, I had a look already inside my trailer to see what I've got. At the roundabout, take the second. Um, all sorts, <laughs> all sorts, but I'll show you, I'll show you when we get there. I have to um, obviously pull the curtains and these trailers, they have something like a, like a load bearing net as well. So on top of the, the curtains, under the curtains, behind the curtains, they say, and there's like a, there's like a net with, with straps on or buckles and um, I have to do them as well, <laughs> so it's double work. <laughs> what is going on here? Road ahead closed. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right. I am gonna go. Yeah. Believe it or not. <laughs> I live five minutes away from this. I don't know why this road is closed, but I know these roads like uh, like the palm of my hand. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to try to avoid it and go through this uh, little village here. That is like a, like a bypass. But, Turn yeah. left at the traffic light. See, the truck is coming from there. So, yeah, we shouldn't have any problem. There's no low bridge or anything there. Oh, mate. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. It's understandable. Come on, come on, come on. By the way, I'm low on diesel. 
I'm uh, on 31% diesel and 41% hard blue. And if you if you're asking why you didn't fill up in the yard when you left, <laughs> because we don't have we don't have uh, diesel and hard blue right now in the yard because they are refurbishing uh, the yard. They are uh, doing a major major operation there. They are about to finish, but one of the last things they have to do is move the diesel tank and the hard blow tank as well. And they're empty now to facilitate the movement, you know. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're gonna we, we have to use uh, service stations, <clears throat> but. I should be all right, you know. I'm not. I'm not worried. I'm all right. And also, we are going to tip in Minworth, TPN Minworth. But we are going to load from there as well to bring it back here. Yeah. So it's a tip, reload, and bring back job. Yeah. And I'll tell you more about this in a sec, yeah? I'll see you in a bit. So like I said earlier, I did a little bit of uh, research. I'm not pretending that uh, I know everything I have little clue about this kind of things but from what I've learned these companies not only this TPN but uh, these kind of companies they're specialized in uh, you know uh, transporting or transferring palletized goods and you might think well most of the products that uh, are transported with trucks are palletized, yeah, their own pallets. But the difference is that uh, this company is um, dealing with small batch of uh, goods like one pallet. Um, I don't know who that was, but hello to you, mate. <laughs> um, I might be wrong. If I am wrong, please, please do not hesitate to correct me in the comments. But I think that's what it is. Um, I've seen all kind of loads on one of these trailers uh, from uh, flower pots to uh, dishwashers and um, small engines, you know, maybe motorcycle engines, uh, you know, automotive parts like car parts and all sorts everything that you can imagine uh, and it needs to be transported from A to B probably is transported like this yeah normally when we do uh, distribution centers and, and stuff like that you you always collect bulk you know a full load of uh, let's say cement or full load of this and full load of that uh, or maybe half a load and you have two drops um, but that that is like bulk comparing to just one pallet yeah uh, but obviously this business is uh, is big because loads of people uh, need just one pallet transported and uh, yeah that's that's how it's done I think that's what it is. <laughs> um, now, I will show you the load, obviously, like I said, uh, when I get back, 
when I get to this place, um, we'll take the curtains uh, back and all that. I'll show you the load. Obviously, I need to be careful not to show you any any individual addresses and stuff like that. You know, uh, that uh, needs to be delivered to uh, individuals. Yeah, not the companies. Uh, obviously, I need to edit that. But yeah, it's a mish mishmash of everything. <laughs> That's what I've got on my trailer, a mishmash on, of everything. And then uh, probably I'm going to collect something from there that needs to be distributed around our area, you know, Doncaster, Sheffield, um, Barnsley area, you know. So. Uh, that's how it gets done. It gets transported from hub to hub, and then finally, it goes on a on the back of a small van, distributed to the door of the customer. Yeah. Uh, so that's it, really. I think I think um, I've said what I need to say. Uh, but like I said, um, if I am wrong, please correct me. Yeah. Tell me, tell me in the in the comments uh, what uh, what do you know about this? Yeah, I shall see you there. Okay, see you in a bit. So we are not far from this place. Eight minutes. Yeah. Uh, look at this weather. It's been like this. All this time it's 8.30 in the morning. Uh, since I've started, it's been it's been pretty much like this. Um, very cloudy, foggy as well, and cold. It's only 16 degrees. Yesterday and the day before, it was scorching hot, yeah. 28 degrees. Um, I had to wear long pants and all that because I was um, in construction sites most of the time, uh, very strict construction sites. Today I get to wear shorts <laughs> and it's like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what can you do? Nothing in it. Um, now we're gonna be there at 8:39, according to my sat nav. So uh, almost one hour earlier. Yeah, almost one hour earlier. Um, I don't know if they're gonna say anything. Uh, I don't know if they're strict with times and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully not. Um, but if they are, they'll probably let me go in and park up, you know, in the in the truck waiting area there. Um, that'll give me enough time. To remove the the curtains, you know, pull the curtains back and after uh, 100 yards, show you what I've got. A 4097 towards Coldfield. Turn left. This is uh, Prologis Park or something like that. It's called. I used to deliver in you know this park. There's loads of businesses in here. Look. Victor Valet. They are washing trucks here. Only trucks. I need to do mine. Mine is absolutely filthy. And I do realize you might have some dead bugs, you know, on that uh, front facing camera on the windscreen. The, the windscreen is it's not quite clean <laughs> but the truck is filthy 
It is filthy because, uh, excuse me one second, that is my office. Hello. Cheers. Bye. Turn left onto the Worth Parkway. What was I talking about? You see, I've lost my uh, thoughts now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Whatever I was telling you about, it's the truth. I was not lying. All right. <laughs> but yeah. You have reached your destination. Oh my god, this place is huge. This warehouse is big, man. You have reached your Arriving destination. At midpoint Way. Sutton Coldfield B76 9EH. 838. There you go. Even earlier than I, I said earlier. Do you need any, anything from me? Paperwork? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't need it. Ah, just, just that. All right. Thank you. Just two. Sorry? Just two. And loading. And lo reloading. Yeah. Okay, so this one as well. All right. Okay, brother. Thank you. Cheers. Well, that's it. <laughs> We're in. And that's the, the park I was telling you about, the truck park. Yeah? So, I'm assuming I need to remove my curtains here. And then uh, go somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> it's all right. We'll we'll figure out. Let me just park here. I'm actually going to reverse there. That's it. Okay. Um, just look at the size of this. <laughs> it's massive. Yeah. 4.9 meters tall. And yeah, loads of buckles. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a strange um, shape there at the front, obviously. But what I want to see is here. All right, so the rails go around and they stop in the middle there. Uh, I know some of some of the trailers, the rails go kind of. Uh, uh, the interlock so they go I think this one goes longer all the way to there and then that one goes all the way to there so you need to open that one first <laughs> yeah to be able to pull it all the way and then you open that one and you put it on top of the other one but I guess mine stop in the middle some of them are like this one yeah they don't go around. But yeah. It's not very clear, but yeah, I can see I can see very well that they stop in the middle. Yeah? Right. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what side I open first. Um so yeah. 
let me get my uh, gloves and uh, I think we should start I'll start on the other side um, because I've got this trailer here that is is gonna help me to set up the camera <laughs> yeah anyway so there it is um, loads and loads of buckles and not only that but after I've done these buckles I've got the net underneath yeah it's crazy absolutely crazy anyway that's why I hate uh, curtain siders I just you know the amount of buckles and the work additional work you know that you do on them it's just crazy <sighs> yeah but obviously they have their purpose you know protecting the goods from weather you know from rain and stuff uh, not all goods can be transported on um, flatbeds or you know so yeah but I hate them <laughs> I'm not lying right so that would be my last buckle Okay, that bar is out. <sighs> By the way, I've already checked what I need to do. So basically, uh, pull the curtains back remove all the straps whatever you have and uh, and then you make your way on the other side of the building yeah but they told me to wait a little bit because I'm quite early um, there's other trucks that probably needs or they are probably inside already and um, yeah so they told me to wait a little bit that's what I'm gonna do that's why I have time to film this <laughs> so oh. you see that's the net I was telling you about I'll bring you closer in a second so you can see it better yeah but uh that's what it is. So basically, so pulling the curtains to the back of the trailer so they have space to work on the sides. Uh, I've got some I've got some straps here that are probably used to hold this uh, these curtains in place. See if I manage to do it. <laughs> but yeah.
So there it is. You see, these are the nets I was telling you about. Yeah. As an additional uh, securing thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to do them as well. Pull them on the side and then move on to the other side of the trailer yeah I should probably hold them in place as well with uh, with that strap Got drinks. See? Yeah. What's this? A treadmill or something? Yeah. There it is. Ah, much better. Just a short glimpse on, you know, uh, what, what's on the, one of these trailers? Um, I've got a mix of everything here. Yeah, some everything. This looks like a treadmill, um, extra long piles. <laughs> yeah, I've got some paint, uh, cement, and whatever this might be yeah um, brick slips drinks as well that could be a return or maybe just one pallet that somebody owed to a company or you know um, yeah that's it let's crack on with the rest yeah I love garden ciders. Not. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. Ooh. Okay. It's 9.30. Uh, that's the time I'm booked for. Curtains are pulled. Everything is ready. Let's go. So yeah, I need to move uh, slowly because uh, obviously there's nothing, nothing holding the the load. You know. Um. So slowly, I'm I'm a bit concerned about that that big black tall thing there um, it looks a little bit wonky but yeah so we are going around the building at the end of this building there they said there should be like a 
stop sign, so I need to stop there. <clears throat> and and one of them forklift drivers, um, they'll come and uh, they'll take me in. Uh, looks like uh, I have to join the queue. Uh, fantastic. Anyway. Um, I've got a QR code on a piece of paper that I put it on uh, on the windscreen and uh, I believe they have some scanners and they'll scan it and that will tell you know their computers or whatever they have there what uh, what I have why why are you doing that am I too close to the bush Sorry, there you go. Happy now? <laughs> oh my God, look at the width of this image. I bet you can see my garbage bin and then... <laughs> Guys, sorry about that. Let me sort this image and I'll be back to you. How's that? <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> oh my god that was crazy yeah uh, so yeah basically we're gonna have to wait here until we are called um, I believe I've see, I, I can see some of the trucks inside already they have probably lines on the floor where you're gonna have to stop and they will attack from both sides, yeah? Starting to tip, to tip and then uh, once they're done, they're gonna load with whatever I need to take back, yeah? Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's it now. I'll see you when we go in, yeah? Right, here I am. Chasing another forklift. Look, look how many forklifts are here. Wow. So we are going in. We are going in. Where are we going? He's disappeared. My God, more forklifts here. Oh, he's there waiting for me. Bless him. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it is. Need to park in front of this guy, I guess. Yes. Big stop sign in front of me. Yeah, he scanned that thing, and that'll tell him the job they have, and uh, yeah, I guess where to put all them things that I have. Uh, and I, I think there's gonna be there's gonna be more coming. Look, probably there's a, that's another one. No, no interested. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
And that's it. Easy job, isn't it? Well, looks like we're done. I'm, I've been loaded, but is it just one pallet? One or two pallets. That's what I can see. <laughs> you see what I mean? One pallet transfer. Look at this. Fridges. Yeah. I don't know. Is that all I'm taking back? Just one pallet. Now, I've got to get out of here in the same uh, truck park and pull the curtains back I can't do it inside there I'm not allowed to yeah anything coming? no oh yeah looks like I've got yeah maybe Maybe four pallets. I was expecting a full load. But four pallets is four pallets. That's, uh, that's what I'm taking back. So, uh, yeah, let's just park up. Well, yeah, look at this empty cage. <laughs> Yeah, and I've got four pallets on. That's all I've got. Um, yeah, some barbecue, Barbie. Somebody's gonna receive a nice Barbie. Has been transported by flaws. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's just uh, close the curtains. Yeah, let's close the curtains and then uh, head back home. Okay, see you in a bit. You need them back, yeah? Yeah. Right. Thank you. <laughs> see you later. So here we are, just a few minutes away from the yard um, I already had a 15 minutes break I uh, also took some diesel because I was really short on diesel um, not much because I don't know what I'm doing uh, after I might end up going back to the yard with a load from somewhere I don't know exactly um, but I hope when I get back to the yard they would have moved that uh, diesel tank and uh, I'll be able to refill there if not I'll have to take some more diesel later <laughs> but yeah um, what do I think about this this kind of job TPM Pallet network, it's it's all right. I didn't dislike it. Um, I think the worst part was removing, you know, um, opening the curtains and uh, the nets and all that and putting them back together. But um, it was quite, quite easy. Yeah, quite easy. Similar to uh, the fridge work that's even easier <laughs> but yeah um, I'm sure that uh, 
you know, there's this was a, an easy job, but I'm sure that probably uh, there is harder jobs, you know, in uh, pallet network. Uh, you probably have to additional strap, uh, you know, some loads that you're carrying. I didn't have to do any of that, you know. Um, but yeah, with with the fridge work, you don't have to do any <laughs> strapping or anything like that. Yeah, it's much easier. But uh, yeah, the only thing that didn't happen, as I thought, uh, was the attack from the uh, you know forklifts, forklift drivers. <laughs> They didn't attack me. It was only that that bloke, bless him. He did it all <laughs> by himself. Yeah. Um, well, maybe it's, it was because it's it was not a major job. Yeah. I don't know. Only four pallets to load after, so probably he didn't need it. Anyone else? Anyone else? You know. But usually, I've seen some videos when they they literally attack the trailer, and you can see them swarming like like bees, you know, like like ants. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it didn't happen this time. Maybe next time we'll see. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. I hope you liked it. I hope if you didn't know about it, you've learned something. <laughs> if you knew, um, well, thank you for watching anyway. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching. And uh, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell button to enable notifications. That's the only way you'll be notified when I upload a new vlog. All right. And until later, bye bye. Love you all. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Turn left, Doncaster Road.